as you can probably tell we're walking down some stairs now and oh boy this this is where we're going look at that i'm so glad we've done this Good morning and um, welcome to what you... feels like the top of the world. Yeah, well you tell us where we are because I always get this wrong. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's Chulia. Not Cholula as Not I keep Cholula. calling it. Or Tallula or anything yeah. similar. Straight up, this place is spectacular. I think just on face value I've fallen in love. You've got the village here behind. And later today, after we've had a look around the village, we're going to head up this incredible gorge where we think there's quite a, an interesting hike, a lake, and possibly somewhere to swim. But first off, let's go and see the village. Yeah, let's go. What's that? The pathetically small piece of earth that this grapevine's oh. got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then look, it goes all the way up, trains round there, up to the top, and look at the spectacular vine at the top. And that's all come off this. Yeah. Here. I and saw it. How old that must be. Yeah. I saw that. But I thought that was possibly kind of fake. Like no, 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 that's genuine. But look at the uh, thingy as well. What's that? There's a pulley at the top. Oh, yeah. Where they would have pulled stuff up. Hanging off the, the end of this pole here. That's really cool. So we're presuming we've now hit, yeah, this looks like it, the main square. We've got the town hall there. It's the Plaza. Some kind of font there. Plaza de la, de la Barona, Baronia. Yeah. That's really good. This is the village centre then. But you want to try and get up towards, we, we've seen a castle on a hill. Strange looking castle. So let's try yeah, and I'm find sure. that. Kind of this way then, I would say. That looks promising. Castillo. All right, well, we definitely made it because there's a big sign that Castillo says we made it. Castillo de la Baronia de Trulia. Cool. And I presume we head up here. I'm going uphill again, darling. Cool. What do you think? <laughs> but wow, that's quite a spectacular view over the village, though. There's the square. The square. <gasps> the village itself is not very big, which is why in our heads we thought we'd be able to do the village and the hike and everything else all in one day. I think we might have bitten off more than we can chew. We've seen nothing so far, very little. And I've kind of fallen in love with this place already. Mm. Yes, 
Yeah. It's, it's a little bit stunning. And if the hikes are half as good as I think they're going to be today, this is really going to be everything we love in life. In one day. All in one little location. Yeah. I appear to have uh, lost Alison. Where's she gone? Oh. Balcony. Ah, you're oh. down there. I was just saying, I, I don't know how to find you. Yeah. Really cute little balcony. Yeah. Good way to uh, bombard people who are trying to come up the slope and invade. <laughs> it's also nice and cool in here. Yeah, just don't go near that little window because there's a really warm breeze comes through there. I wonder what kind of view they are. Uh, Gave the wealthy people. Don't know, I'm too short to see. <laughs> oh yeah, so am I. We have been trying to cut down the number of wows we do, but <laughs> today so far, I think we're on a wow number 50 so for today. Because, yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> This was definitely worth a walk up here, if only for the views. Yeah. I mean, the castle's lovely. It's a strange castle, because I don't know if it makes it out clearly of what we've shown on camera so far, but it's just very long. It goes all the way up there, and then all the way down there, and it's just strapped to the edge of this mountain cliff. This, <laughs> this is amazing. This is, this is proper up on the street. Now we're exploring more and more of Spain. More and more of our local area, to be honest with you. It's, I can't believe it just keeps getting more and more beautiful. But now, I think we're gonna take the walk back down. See some more cute little village. Yeah, see a bit more of the village before we hit the hike. All right, so we're back down into the, uh, the village. And I think the next thing we're gonna try and, I was gonna say find. You can't miss but it. Yeah, I was gonna there. say, we're gonna try and find the church, or at least the, the amateur with a tower here. But because it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, you can't really miss it. So we're gonna go to. And there it is. It's really ornate at the top up there. Look at that. Yeah. The bell tower, whatever you call it. Look at the plants growing out of the side again though. Oh yeah. Nature finds a way. Yeah. Which way are we going down and uh, see the... the front, yeah. yeah. I do want to go around that side and see that house with curved look. Curved look. Okay. Oh, and a lovely little square again. This is what I love. We just... Um, Gas selection of yeah neighbors. gas into the locals everywhere we go in spain they're happy for you to just join in with them sit and have a chat <laughs> not all of them want to appear on videos so we don't always show them but oh this village is that a bit of a way down okay yeah that is a bit of a long way down there You know, it's not as bad as Bokarin, but... Well, we went that way to it go It is a to bit of a maze. Castle, so we'll go this way this time. Yeah, 
Still a bit of a maze though. Oh, it's incredible. Wow. We seem to have got ourselves back round to the uh, to the castle again. Hola, buen día. Hola, buenos días. Pues, oops. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? With all the Thank plants you. down the side of it. What's that then? Because it's not part This of is part church, of the church, yeah. Right, so this may end up biting us in the backside a little bit because uh, we actually ended up coming back to the car because Alison just wanted to change into sort of hiking shoes. She'd got like hiking sandals on. And I said, do you want to go back down the road and down there or the shortcut? And she's decided we're going down the shortcut. Yeah. Maybe should have gone the road, right? <laughs> yeah. You can always tell it's questionable when Alison stops and scratches the back of her head. It's normally a sign of, <laughs> what have we just done? Yeah. My dad always scratches his head when he's thinking. Good job we didn't decide to come up this way. To be fair, I think coming up would have possibly been easier than going down. I don't know if anyone else finds that, but we find climbing up rocks and stuff a lot easier than going down normally. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's a tall old bit of rock. Isn't it? They clearly go climbing up here, yeah, look. All the anchor points. Yeah. That's cool. And I think you were right, Alison. Yeah. Yeah. What way, darling? I think it'd have been just as quick to have gone the long way round. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, which way now? Long way round, this way, I reckon. Cool. Does this look promising? Yeah, I think we've caused ourselves a few issues here. We want to get down, I think that's the path over there. Mm. But we're struggling at the moment to find a way down. Or at least a way that looks... Ah, this could be it. And I can hit water. Definitely. What do you reckon this? Oh, that looked a bit better than going down the bit that I could see there. We've made it down to the, the proper path now. So it would have been 10 minutes back to the village that way. Charcoal full 16 minutes that way or six minutes down to the swimming point. I think our plan is to go to Charcoal Thaw. Well you did say hike then swim but I'm maybe thinking swim hike swim. It's warm. Uh, it's really warm today. warm. Yeah. Should we go and have a look? What do you reckon? Yeah, why not? <laughs> right. It's only 12 minutes extra. Yeah. What's 12 minutes in 30 degrees heat? Uh, 12 minutes? Yeah, that's a silly comment really, wasn't it? Ooh. Okay. Well, that was a six minutes easy downhill. But also, look, it's still 16 minutes to Charco and ah, Fall from here. Yay! Go us. So there you go. You can come here first. the path along the water. So is this it? Is this where people swim? Looks like it. I expected to see more people swimming. This really reminds me of a place called Redbridge that I used to go to when I was little. Oh look, because it's, it's shallow here, but you can see it gets quite deep there. Yeah, it's very pretty. Look how clear it is. Yeah. What are you going to do? Head up to Charcoal Thaw? It'll take five minutes here. I think I'm going to put my swimmers on here anyway. Just getting swimmers here and yeah. probably not a bad call. Right, work out what we're going to do, and then do it. Made a decision, we're not going to go swimming quite yet, we're going to take the wander down to Charcoal Thaw. And, um, what well, we have got into swimwear. Just in Put case. Put a bit more sunscreen on, because it is really 
hot today. Roasting. Got our sensible hats on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and see Chakra Thorn and then walk up to the, the hike. Make it up as we go along really now, isn't it? Yep. But this looks stunning. Where we actually are, by the way, is we're right in the, the bottom of the gorge that we were looking into from the castle and that. Yep, you can definitely hear. Oh, oh okay. Another, another bridge. bridge. That looks, yeah, that's nice. So pretty. And the bridges, yeah. for a change, are actually really well made. But look at the way the water ripples on the other side. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, very pretty. Has that left a mark in the, the sand like that? Or is no, that just a... I think that's concrete. Oh, yeah. We've got concrete here. That's actually the bit the board. Look, fishy, fishy, fishy. I think we've made it to Charcoal Thule. It looks like a... Wow. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a big pool at the end of the canyon. Okay. This is beautiful. Don't my word. They say his Yeah, I can see why people come here. I can see why this is so well known locally. Mm. This is for much of Very cool. I don't know where that goes. Is that water coming in or yeah. going out? Yeah, no, it's coming in. Because you've got the dam made here. Yeah. And I guess that's kind of been made as an overflow, an overflow for it. Because yeah. it's not coming over the top of the dam, so it can come through there. This is beautiful. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes here, have a look around, mm. and then gutted try. about that. Yeah, gutted about the walkway being broken. Mm -hmm. And then we'll try and move on to the next hike. <laughs> this is cool. That's all like just stepping stones. So this is where that walkway would have started. But unfortunately, I can see why they've cut it off because the boards have rotted through and a lot of them are actually collapsed. So looks like we've got a 20 minute hike back to the junction and then along. Let's go. Oh, we see. So we're actually now, when we went over the bridge earlier, we're going to be following that stream that now runs all the way down, I presume, back to the junction. So apparently I've done it again. Yep. Back up there I said, ah well, at least this is an easy route. We're climbing again. Sorry Dalem. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oops. 
down there, that's the uh, that's the path we walked down on when we come back on the higher route. And up ahead of us, you can see uh, the town. So we've actually made it back fairly close to where the car is and that bottom hanging out there is Alison cooling herself down. The heat and the humidity today has been an absolute killer. So we're going to cool down, have a drink, get some food. And then I think we might drive up to the, the next car park along. We've now moved the car down the road, being blunt with being a little bit on the lazy side, because we yeah, were proper- two kilometers walking. Yeah, it's, it's, like Alison just said, it's, well, it's kilometer here yeah, and kilometer back. Is that right? From the car park where yeah. we were, yes. So we moved the car down, saved the walk. Um, we've had a bit of lunch. We're a lot cooler now. We're proper overheated um, doing that walk mm -hmm. uh, down to Chakawathul. But the beauty this afternoon, if you can see, Cloudy. we've got a bit of cloud cover, which is going to make this hike a lot easier and hopefully just bring the temperature down just enough to make it comfortable. Well, it was supposed to rain. Mm. One o'clock, three o'clock. Yeah. But it lied. This is where we're heading, down this route here. Ruta de los Pantaneros. Not sure what that means to be honest with you. And we think the main features on this particular hike is rope bridges. Look at the height of the walls on here. Oh, there's the first bridge. Okay, we're not too far away now. As you can probably tell, we're walking down some stairs now and, oh boy, this, this is where we're going. Look at that. I'm so glad we've done this. Alison said to me earlier about the fact that this has been on our list for a long time to come here. Finally, we're doing it and it's phenomenal. Little bit more sturdy than the uh, platform at Rayu. Yes. This place is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So the first rope bridge we came over is sort of back down there and we've got to go up and over this one. I'm not sure where we go from there, I presume we just hug the wall and go along down towards the reservoir. What we'll see. But I think this is just stunning and it's starting to rain. It's actually starting to rain. That is really welcome. I could stand here all day. Yeah. Beautiful location. The fact that we've got a bit of light rain is perfect. Mm. 
yeah, this location. Yeah. This location though. I mean look at that, look at this rock. And that's angled in like that right over us. <laughs> you see the cracks there. Those yeah. bits are gonna fall. One day. Point, yeah. They? Oh, we all get cracks eventually though. Nah. I've got a few. Stop for a drink. There are worse places to sit and take five minutes. Yeah. It's beautiful. And it's mm. so quiet. I, I mean, we've not, it's not a case of not seeing anybody, but it's been very few people out here. I know it's the beginning of June. I know it's Tuesday afternoon, but mm. I expected more people. Ah, yeah, we just come around the corner, <laughs> and uh, this may be it. Look at the size of this bridge. This is the end of this hike. I think what we're going to do now is take five minutes, and then take the four-kilometer hike back down to the car, and work it out from there. Okay, so we've made it back to. The first bridge back, second bridge on the way out. And uh, I think we're going to go and head down here and uh, see if we can't paddle our feet in this area. When people think of Spain, I think most people think of Spain as beaches and oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and all the usual things. Tapas, yeah. Cerveza. Yeah. All those things. And when they think of idyllic paradise locations, everyone always talks about South America. Spain's got it as well. <laughs> if you watch any of our videos, you know Spain's got it. Just move away from the beaches and look, and seriously, we're only just showing you our region. I mean, we've got a, or well, you've got a map, haven't you, on Google Maps, full of all little pin dots. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of them, yes. all over Spain. You can barely all see All over the, half the world, to be honest with you. You can but barely see the map for blue, blue, yeah. blue dots, squares. What we've done here, so far in this region, we could do this anywhere in Spain. Mm. So this is definitely a, a welcome, refreshing break. My feet have been looking forward to this. Yeah, day. called off the feet, definitely. Yeah. So. It's very nice. Across the first bridge. I'm gonna spend another five minutes here. Then we've got to head back down river. Off in this direction over here. Across the second rope bridge. And then up. Down. 45 million stairs. Oh yeah, we've got them stairs to go. And then downhill to the car. Downhill to the car. And, uh, well, what we'll do is we'll see you back at the car. All right, we've moved the car back up to the village and uh, filling up some much deserved uh, water bottles. This is, oh, so needed. Like we said back down there, this has been tough going today. The walks themselves are not, would you, they're not that bad, are they? The actual individual walks. But doing them all in one day yeah. in this heat and this humidity, 
it's been very hard going that is beautiful and I'm so glad we came here today a, a beautiful yeah, can't say it enough but look once again thanks for joining us and um, if you like this sort of thing please check out some of our other videos or come here or come or here or both yeah but look thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next Sunday bye, bye for take now. care they say his